in this video I'm gonna show you how I built this dial stand out of some scrap material What I've done here now, just turn down one of the car wheel, wheel uh, bolt to the this size. So I'm gonna make this end slightly uh, smaller. So press fit this to the base. Um, this is the base. So I couldn't really put my tools in to to take this outer ring off so I'm gonna make make this uh, bolt slightly smaller and then press fit it in there then do the cut from the other side This is the part, I press fit it into the base.
right now the base is ready for the stand um, I need to make this uh, hole slightly bigger uh, is already is in 10 millimeter and this is that's the biggest uh, drill diameter that I have so I need to make this to 12 millimeter so I will do that later by Right, uh, what, what I have here is just my 3D printed part and uh, also this knob, the bolt gonna sit in there and uh, this is gonna be on top basically just for beauty <laughs> and also give a good grip I could build the whole thing from one piece of aluminium but I had some uh, scrap aluminium at the side so I thought like this 3d printed was the job so it's better to 
use the 3D printed but I do like to have this part in a uh, mild steel but the thing is I don't have a milling to machine so I could build this out of a uh, piece of uh, mild steel so let's assemble this and see how it looks Okay, now it's in place. Very good. Right, this is the 3D printed part for holding the dials and this is the joint First, this part holds the dial from the rail at the back and also top and also there's an 8mm point that can hold from this point oh, not bad it looks good you know The base of the stand is the mass is heavy enough to hold the my to hold the big dial all the way at the end and I'm barely gonna be using this dial mostly I use this one and it's very lighter than that. The reason I built this uh, dial stand because I sometimes try to measure some parts over uh, flat surfaces that, which is not uh, metal so I cannot use this magnet stand because it's light and if I put my dial on and if I want to use it hands free like if I leave it let's say on the same table if I leave it and if I put my dial on first is not heavy enough so the dial is gonna tilt over and uh, and the other thing was like anytime I needed to use it on a table I need to stick it to piece of uh, uh, disc or uh, a steel plate so I can keep it steady at the top of the uh, uh, f flat surface and uh, this one with this one i don't have to bring this out and i keep this and i'm really happy with the way it turned up and it, it could be it could be better if this 3d printed part was out of the mild steel or aluminium but the 3d printed part does the job because there is not that much force on these stands 
and is steady enough to give a precise measurement I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching see you next time thank you